Hello and welcome back to Michelle on Your Shoulder. Thanks as always for being here. And if you haven't done so already, please help me out by clicking on the like and subscribe buttons below. And if you have, thank you, thank you, thank you. These daily devotions are being brought to you from my upcoming book, God is Good, a 40-day walk with scripture. The scriptural selections and passages are from Compass, the study Bible for navigating your life by Ecclesia Bible Study. The link can be found below. Now, on to day five. And today's uh, scriptural passage is from James 2, verses 14 through 20. Brothers and sisters, it doesn't make any sense to say you have faith and act in a way that denies that faith. Mere talk never gets you very far, and a commitment to Jesus only in words will not save you. It would be like seeing a brother or sister without any clothes out in the cold and begging for food, and saying, Shalom, friend. You should get inside where it's warm and eat something, but doing nothing about his needs, leaving him cold and alone on the street. What good would your words alone do? The same is true with faith. Without actions, faith is useless. By itself, it's as good as dead. I know what you're thinking. Okay, you have faith. And I have actions. Now let's see your faith without works, and I'll show you a faith that works. Don't you realize that faith without works is useless, like a glove without a hand, or a hat without a head? Do you think that just believing there's one God is going to get you anywhere? The demons believe that too and it terrifies them. The fact is, faith has to show itself through works performed in faith. If you don't recognize that, then you are an empty soul. This is the word of the Lord. Brothers and sisters, it doesn't make any sense to say you have faith and act in a way that denies faith. James 2, verse 14. Boy, I got to tell you, I love the writings of James. His words are so clear and intentional, so complete. He focuses on faith and action, not just faith alone makes so much more sense, doesn't it? That, oh, yeah, thought when we recognize something obvious. To me, his words cut through hypocrisy. He confronts sanctimony, which is just as strong in our world today as it was when he wrote this. So often we hear preaching and judgment and talk of faith and sometimes especially from those who consider themselves religious. They talk the talk, may even recite chapter and verse. But do they walk the walk? Do I walk the walk? The fact is, faith has to show itself through works performed in faith. If you don't recognize that, then you're an empty soul. Verse 20. James uses the example of seeing a brother or sister lacking clothes or food out in the cold and begging, just to say to them, Shalom, friend, you should get inside where it's warm and eat something, verse 15, then walking away to the comforts of home, leaving him or her with words but no assistance. Think about it. How often is inaction towards another justified 
through judgment of the person for being in that situation to begin with. Or we rationalize our lack of giving aid by thinking we just don't have the time or the resources to really help that person anyway. So we turn away. There are others who will help, right? They just need to ask them. Someone else is in a better position to help than I am, right? Without actions, faith is useless. Like a glove needs a hand to be useful, so does our faith need action to hold true. You know, there was a sign posted in the kitchen of my old church. If not me, then who? Now, since we did a lot of feeding and eating at that church, a lot, it was great, the kitchen was a busy place, and that sign was strategically placed. Yes, it just so happened to be next to the volunteer sign-up sheet, but it was placed in such a visible spot that you couldn't help seeing it every time you walked through that section of the kitchen. Kind of like a subliminal message from God. Believing, having faith, very cerebral. Taking action, right action. Now that's the challenge. Learning and talking and discussing and thinking is talking the talk. Easy to do. And in its extreme form, gives the air of a holier-than-thou attitude. James cuts through that reminding us of the importance, nay, the necessity of taking action, not just having faith, but acting in faith, of having a faith that works. But we shouldn't stop at just considering our actions towards others. Think also about the times when you wanted to do something, but fear or worries, or doubts stepped in and held you back. You lacked that faith. And sometimes we do. We lack faith even in ourselves. By thought, the thing you want is brought to you. By action, you receive it. Wallace D. Waddles. I encourage you to look within, look for the areas in your life that could do with a bit more faith-based action, whether for yourself or another. It may, and probably will, involve stepping outside of your comfort zone. That's okay. God is there to steady and support you. That's what faith is for. I hope you are enjoying these daily passages as much as I have in bringing them to you. I must admit, this Bible uh, that I happened on, um, Compass Bible, has such good historical references and teaching that go along with the passages. passages. It just seemed to open up fresh perspectives for me. And I, I, I've learned from other study Bibles as well, along with some of the newer versions of the Bible. I, I grew up on the King James Version. But this one has turned into one of my favorites. So if you are in search of a study Bible, I recommend you consider this as a choice. Compass, the study Bible for navigating your life. Okay, and as always, thanks for listening, and I wish a wonderful day for you. Infinite love and peace. Until tomorrow.